time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everybody? Happy Monday, October 30th. Welcome to Power Hour Live, day before and Hall- day before Halloween, baby. It's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. S and P's up a cool fifty-five. Nasdaq up one eighty. Russell up twelve. Dow up five sixty. Look at the Dow up almost one and three quarters percent. Got a short squeeze on our hands. Uh, currently up about 08 percent from the open. So I will be doing my two to one version for tranche one. Looks like we're going to get five wide. I uh, hit my profit target on morning AM ratio. Hit my profit target on quiet lunch. Uh, I've also entered a PM ratio. That is currently up a little bit. And I also have a Rick, which is down a couple couple K. Need to push above 180 to get out of my valley. So enter tranche one here in just a couple minutes. Had a little push up at the open, fell below the open, kind of chopped around for a while, and then started pushing at about 11.45 Central. Been grinding higher since. Pushing and grinding. A little bit lower, lower premium, five wide. That's what it's looking like here. There's even a chance it could be a straddle if we come down a little bit, it looks like. Maybe. Nah, it would probably still be five wide. Kind of right, right in between on the 75s and the calls. Give it another 30 seconds before I pull the trigger. Looks like the 7065s. 7065s, five wide. Oh, dang it. My Rick is in the way. 
afraid that was going to happen. It's causing issues. I'm just going to have to close Rick. All right, so Rick, Rick, you're gone. Ricky's gone. Seventy sixty five, trying to get Phil at eleven twenty five. What? I think it must be from my shark that I left. Some on. Let's try this. There we go. Filled at 1105, 70, 65s. Yep, two to one. I thought I could use my longs, but it's a leftover vertical from a different trade that I close, because, but because of the shorts, that cancels it out. So I had to go ahead and buy my longs. All right, so the old short squeeze tends to work pretty good. Four power hour, so let's see it. Let's see it today. Kind of a weird Monday. Volatility contraction at the open. Started to pump back up, and then stocks rose. VIX is now down 7%. Back down into the under 20. Currently at 19.77. My power hour short squeeze hits at about an 80% rate. Which is better than normal power hour win rate. Well, I usually do my reverse iron condor in my other account, but I ended up, I don't know, it's a long story, but I ended up doing my AM ratio in the other account. And then I got a PM ratio in my other account. So I just kind of botched my normal procedures today. So I had to, had to get rid of Rick. So on my PM iron condor, once that gets down to 705, I will reduce my stops currently at 815, 810. Four power hour tranche one, I got in at 1105. So I'm looking for 665 to reduce my stop on tranche one.
Added a 1-2 DTE earlier today. It's pretty much break even at this point. I've got a 4-7 and a 6-7. Both of those were doing really nice whenever the market was coming down or sideways. This little push up has put those a little bit in the red. Got a TGIF that is up a few hundred. Got a single put calendar that I had hedged with a vertical. I looked at uh, I looked at taking the vertical off and actually getting a little profit on it, and then positioning a another calendar to turn it into a double calendar. But decided just to leave it. And creeping up to new highs of day. What are you guys dressing up for for Halloween? We got Dick K's pick. He's the only one, though. <laughs> nice waterman i like it i like it you mental master you that would be that would be an interesting party just a party of traders dressing up for halloween Going as the chili man. I like it. Uh, yeah, so when we get to 665, I would move my stop to 965, correct? $3 over the current price. My PM's down to 7.30. I'm looking for Oh, nice, Ryan P. I still need another 50 cents to come out.
720. Seven ten, seven oh five. There it is. All right, reduce my stop on my PM trade. So I just do the ratio on a tranche one. So I'll be going back to one to one for tranche two and three. Uh, my power hour tranche one short squeeze version is uh, not trailing. It's just six bucks. And then I reduce it to three at 40%. Oh, the PM. Yes, the PM is trailing. Oh, it's just a regular stop. I see. Interesting. I think I used a different OCO template. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ryan P. Should be trailing. All right, there we go. Good catch. Got about seven minutes until tranche two. Let's see what old financial juice is up to today. Couple of red things. What are these? US Treasury expects to borrow 816 billion in January through March, assuming an end March cash balance of 750 billion. Okay. Let's borrow some more money. Why not? Elliot, are you getting toss figured out? Figure out how to set up the OCOs, or I and mean, I think this morning you're just tr you're trying to figure out how to close shorts only. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that'd be. Trying to do both at the same time would be a little taxing. Oh, yeah. What are you doing on this side of the pond? Nice.
All right, four minutes until tranche two. By my lungs for tranche two. Getting some good decay in tranche one so far. Currently down to 870. I'm looking for 665 to reduce my stop. Tranche two could be 10 wide for some low premium. Could be five wide for normal, decent premium. I missed about 10 to 20 cents at entry. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't base it on what I could have, should have done. I base it on what I actually got filled at. 75.70s as of now. Give it another minute. SPX approaching highs of day. Seventy five seventies, five wide. Trying to get filled at five fifty. Build at 550, 75, 70s. Biden's meeting with the U.S. Senate Majority Leader Schumer and the bipartisan AI group tomorrow. Biden speaking on artificial intelligence. Boy, whew. <laughs> that's got to be riveting.
added a new time fly today. Closed out the other one. Added a new one in the No 17 cycle. It's currently obviously pushed up since we put that on. We'll add a calendar above 4180 if it pushes up there. VXX verticals coming in, and VXX down 7%. Not too far away from our profit target in QQQ. Launch one down to 715. I'm looking for 665. Tranche two, I got filled at 550. Three thirty. Three thirty would be my adjustment point in tranche two. Uh, Murph Dog Tat is only available with uh, interactive brokers. Trade Steward is available on Toss. Launch one down below seven. Need price to come down just slightly to get that one reduced.
few minutes until tranche three. By my lungs for tranche three. Tranche one still hovering around seven. Launch three looks like it could be seventy five seventies. So six seventy five. But price popped back up. Could be eighty seventy. Give it another minute plus. SPX pushing new highs. Like it could be eighty seventy fives now. Crunch three five wide, eighty seventy fives. Trying to get filled at four bucks. Filled at four dollar. Four dollar even on the eighty seventy fives. Tranche one all the way up to nine bucks. So for tomorrow, employment cost index 
pre-market consumer confidence 30 minutes after the market opens and then wednesday the big day adp non-farms before the market opens 30 minutes after the market opens ism pmi and jolts and then fomc wednesday afternoon Nice little pullback, tranche one back under seven. Six forty-five. Oh, there we go. Nine point six five. So reducing my stop on tranche one. Round two, I'm looking for 330. It's currently at four bucks. Uh, trading naked. The only thing I'll be trading on FOMC are my FOMC trades, which I'll I'll share here in a minute. All right, that may tranche two may take a minute. All right, let me find those. So here's the FOMC long strangle that I'll do. 30 delta long strangle. And then Then here's my FOMC iron condor that I do. So the F, the last one I posted that FOM iron, uh, FOMC iron condor basically is entering the trade right before the FOMC data is released and then taking it off right before the press conference starts. So you get an initial volatility crush, but a lot of times not a whole lot of movement. So it's only a 30 minute trade. So we're trying to book a little profit in that period and then be out before the press conference starts. And then right after the press conference starts, we enter a long strangle to benefit from the movement that typically happens during or after the presser. Tranche two down to 365. I'm looking for 330. In 350. Three fifty, three forty five, three forty. 
335. A little bit more. Three forty, three thirty five. Looking for three thirty. Right there in between my strikes, just need a tiny bit more decay to come out. Three thirty five again. Three thirty five. I haven't seen three thirty yet. There's three thirty. All right, adjusting my stop on tranche two. All stop adjusted down. Now we wait. Forty-one seventy-five is my sweet spot. Anywhere between seventy and seventy-five would be good. My PM could use closer to seventy. Uh, my 4.7, I'll close tomorrow morning. My 6.7, I'll close Wednesday morning. I did do a little futures trading. Uh, a few little stop outs. I got stopped out in both directions on MES. Tried to get short here. I thought, I thought maybe that's all it had at that initial push. It's following NTT, got stopped out. Turned around and went long, got stopped out somewhere in this little chop zone, and then I did not catch the the real run up. Uh, my trunch two goes from three to two. So I adjusted it to 5.30. Yep. So tranche one is at 965 is my stop. Tranche two, my stop's at 530. And tranche three, my stop's at seven.
23 minutes to go. Early indication market on close and balance, 198 million sell side. Yeah, if we could just be nice to all tranches equally, that's always best. Well, it got cold in Kansas City all of a sudden. It's down in the 30s the last couple of days. Not my favorite. By the way, if you're new here, once we get in our positions, there's a lot of downtime. So if anybody does have questions, Trying to figure out everything, feel free to post. Wow, 80 in New York. You had to bring that up, huh, Ron? Yeah, that's... Uh... That's that's a sore subject today around here. You guys look good. Your defense, well, both sides actually looked really good. Defense shut us down. I mean, Mahomes had seven seconds to pass and he still couldn't find an open receiver. No, you guys played good. I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not making excuses with the flu. I mean, we, we have to give you one out of every 16.
And you're getting a little move lower here down to 41.70. Tranche three, my stops at seven and prices at five fifty. Apple event tonight. Okay. Next two marketing market on closing balances, eleven million buy side. Final one here in about seven, six minutes. A little over 15 minutes until the bell. Tranche one down to 360. Tranche two down to 250. Tranche three is at 530. Yeah, Quanteo, so you got the Zero DTE course channel, which is, uh, it's got a, uh, like an AM iron condor course in there. It's not necessarily how I trade it now with, um, exactly with deltas and things like that, but it'll kind of give you the framework. And then the best thing to do would be, um, assuming you have option Omega, I just posted my trade plan in the trade plans channel for November. So every month uh, I update that. And so every strategy that I trade has a option Omega back test link that gives, gives you all the details about exactly how I trade it. And in the course, there's also the reverse iron condor. Yeah, so the framework's all there. It's just a matter of you kind of creating your own position size and structure based on how you want to trade it. Position size, one-to-one -one versus ratio, all that kind of stuff.
Still hovering around that 4170 level. Good, uh, good conversations about some of the trade automation stuff. I started a new thread, if you haven't seen it, up in the uh, kind of right below the back testing channel towards the top. I just called it auto trading. And then there's a couple one for the trade automation toolbox, which is with IB, and then one with trade steward, which is with TOS. I just signed up for Trade Steward over the weekend, just starting to explore some things I might be able to do with that. I definitely don't look at automation as a way to, hey, just turn on my computer, hit a button, and I can walk away the rest of the day. That's that's not how. That's definitely not how I look at it. I look at it more from a perspective of there might be a few strategies that are so mechanical that it just makes it easier to automate just to uh, lower the number of manual entries I have to do and reduce some potential fat finger mistakes. Price coming down below 41.70. Runch three stops at seven. Spread's currently trading above six. So tranche three is going to need a bounce. The final market on close imbalance number 565 million buy side. Price catching a little bounce back above 71. Eight minutes to go. Yeah, Ed, I, um, I, I've i thought about using that forum style channel for other things too, but I just haven't. So I figured I'd try it for the auto trading. It looks, I, I've, I, I've seen it in the option Omega one. They use it for some of their stuff. So I think, it, I think it'll work well specifically for a topic like that. Potentially for others as well. Appreciate the feedback though. Close trunch three at four. I got in at four.
I may be closing tranche three here shortly since it's not really in a range where I consider holding it. Tranche one down or tranche two down to a buck forty. Tranche one down to two dollars. Coming up on five minutes until the bell. Yeah, I'm going to get out of trunch three. We get a little bounce here. I've got my order at 350. No bounce yet. Looks like my yeah, my PM iron condor filled at a buck fifteen. I was just getting ready to go to lower that lower that price, but it got filled. That's right. Take it. 90% winner. Crunch three needs a little bounce. I've got my order at tranche one at 65 cents. It's currently trading at 90. And I may get stopped on tranche three here. Should be getting stopped. You know what? I probably don't have a bid, do I? I do not. Oh, no. Was not paying attention to that. All right, add a tranche three at 750. So that one will be a loser. Tranche one's getting close to 65 cents. Partial, partial. Tranche ones trying to get filled. 
There we go. Tranche one filled at 65 and 60 cents. I need a tranche. I need a bounce for tranche two. One minute to go. Crunch two currently trading at two twenty. My order is at fifty five cents. I'm going to put tranche to 250. Need a little bounce here. And there's the bell. All right. So it looks like tranche two, I made about 3,600. Tranche one was the big winner. In at 11.05, out at 65 cents. And then tranche three was a loser, got in at four, out at 7.50. So nice winner overall. Also one on my PM. Winner, winner, take it. Uh, Dark Avenger, answer my PM question from earlier. Retype it if you would. Also, do you always plan to do two to one tranche one? No, the two to one's only for the short squeeze. Why the November trading plan has the PMIC ratio for Wednesday only. So today was the PM short squeeze, Iron Condor. So those are two, two different trades. If you look at the spreadsheet, you'll see the... Uh, if we're in a short squeeze up up a half percent from the open, I'll do the PM every day. But the uh, the other, I've got a couple other just one to one PM iron condors that are on Wednesday, and I think on one other day. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's on the sheet though. All right, my friends, good stuff. Good winner to start the week. Coming in on the last day of the month tomorrow. Elliot, of course, booking his normal 26K today. <laughs> nice, Elliot. Nice job. All right, all. Take care. Chat with you soon.